Welcome and welcome back. If you saw my last video, then you already know where I am. If you have not, I am at the Gospel Echoes Team thrift store in Osler, Saskatchewan. So let's go on in and see if I can find any vintage items to resell in my Etsy shop, Fifth Avenue Vintage Co. Possibly put in a whatnot sale or my future booth. So let's go check it out. Welcome, 50% off this week, purple. She's cute, isn't she? Four dollars. They're half price, so 25 cents. They're, I think they're black glass. Are they amethyst? I don't know. 25 cents each, we'll grab those. Here's a little copper planter. Five dollars. It is gift craft. Is it crooked? It is crooked. The fact could be straightened out. Oh yeah, it's just. Hmm. It's pretty tiny though. So you can put an air plant in it. wear on the inside. I think I'm going to pass on that one today. Four elements pottery. Something's missing from that. It's a nice box. Cuban souvenir piece. It's only a dollar. Betty made that. It's got a really nice lid. Gold Canyon, two dollars. Hmm. Wonder what that smells like. I'm going to put it in my cart and give it a sniff. <laughs> Two dollars for a handmade candle. I think it's handmade. Mint cocoa. Maybe it's not handmade with that sticker on it. Made in the USA. It's a Blue Mountain Pottery Swan Planter for six dollars. I don't think I want to pay six for it though. It's a brass door knocker, four dollars. Copper divided dish. Fifteen for that. Hmm. 
just going through the mugs and I found a, I think that's Fire King, maybe? Fire King or Anchor Hawking? Or is Anchor Hawking Fire King? <laughs> I can't remember. This one's in really nice condition. This one is a little too far gone. So I will grab this one. Oh, it's four dollars. Four dollars. Yeah, I'll grab it anyways. Spotted this really cute little creamer. Looks like restaurant wear. Van Desco of Canada. It's 50 cents. Nice condition. It's got a really nice feel to it. My total was $15. I also picked up a set of sheets for our spare bedroom and they were in really nice condition, almost like new, so I grabbed those for $8. So altogether it was $15 for everything, and I don't think I got very much footage, so I think I'm gonna head down the highway to Rostern, Saskatchewan, and check out their MCC clothes basket. It's been quite a while since I've been there, so that is our next destination. Let's go take a drive down the highway and check out the MCC Clothes Basket in Rostern. All right, MCC Clothes Basket. Look what I just spotted. I'm grabbing a basket. $25. Hmm. I think I'm going to grab it for $25. I'm going to start over in their vintage area. $10 and $10. Evangeline pottery made in Canada. Very similar to the Blue Mountain pottery. This piece looks like Blue Mountain Pottery. It's $15. Yes, it is Blue Mountain Pottery. Oh. Here is a set. I like that it has the caddy with it. Let's check it out, see what the condition is. Not terrible. What's the price? $20 for the set. I don't know. I don't think I could get $20 for that. $10 maybe. And I don't think that's half price. Orange tags are half price. Yes. Is this somebody's creation? Wow. Ten dollars. What do we got over here? Oh, that is super cute. Ten, four dollars. Look how sweet that is. The little nursery rhymes on it, I think. Mary had a little lamb. He diddle do the cat and the fiddle. Pick that up for four dollars. What is this? Hecto hectograph. There's another tin, but. Uh, that's not as fun as this one. Some Pimpernel in the original box. 
two bucks. Let's see what they look like. A little bit of scratching on them. Are these Care Bears? Care Bears. Set. So we have the brass. Is that a pheasant or a quail? I think it's not. A, it's not a quail. Pheasant, I think. It's only two dollars. Yeah. You'll you'll be back. These are pretty. I think they are Italian. It's covered up, but oh, there's some chipping. Yes, Italian pottery just about always has chipping. I don't know if that is Italian or not. I can't really read it, but there's some chipping on it, unfortunately. Some cookie jars, but oh, it's pretty big. Needs repair. I don't think I want to deal with those large pieces. Oh, what is this? Oh, the price on it. It's pretty. All right, let's see what we can find down here. I found a few gems down here before in the past. A little bit of wall decor. Oh, there's another couple of Bath and Body Works candles. So oh, that's not. No, they're empty. They are empty. Oh, I see a macrame owl. Ten dollars. Eh, it's okay. Not spectacular. There's a bit of staining on it. One dollar. That's kind of interesting. Rule for three dollars. It's pretty. It needs to be reframed. I might consider that. We'll see. Those kitties. Free beer tomorrow. <laughs> I should get this sign for Wendell. He likes his beer. It's definitely not vintage. It's a reproduction. It's only a dollar. It's kind of fun though. It'd be fun in my booth as well. For a dollar, why not? Oh, I just spotted this. Is that made in India? It's nice. It's all beaded. How much is it? Twelve dollars. It's really pretty. I see a pillow over here. Looks kind of fun. Mm. It's only 50 cents, but it's pretty pretty dirty. Those are some fun mid-century modern chairs. They need to be recovered, but 
got a nice shape to them, only $4 each. If I had the space, I would pick them up because I have recovered chairs before. It's not that hard. It's too bad I didn't have room for them. <laughs> Pretty sharp. It's a really nice basket. $2. These fold up. I don't know what they do. I think they're made out of bamboo. Grab that. And there's also a cute little vase here. Oh, it's pretty lightweight. Red clay trinket box with an eagle on it. Some chipping. Some Christmas trees. $15 for this one. I actually kind of like it. Wanted a tree this size. Don't know that you could take it down though. Take it apart. Well, maybe, yeah, I don't know. It's stuck in the base. bag, two bucks. I'm going to grab one of these handmade toques. I bought one here last year. This color, this exact one, and they're really soft and comfortable and warm. So I'm going to buy another one. They're $4. Oops. It looks pretty tiny. No, oh, it's pretty stretchy. Do I need another one? Maybe red. <laughs> Brown. I'd like a pink one, but... I prefer this style. That one's kind of cute. It's pretty bright. I'm just going to grab this one for myself. I'm working on filling my fridge, at least one side of my fridge, with vintage magnets. There's a couple here. These ones are older. I think these ones are newer. Kitty's cute. Hello. I'm gonna grab these two rainbows for my fridge. Jewelry is 50% off. I think I'm gonna have a look at that pumpkin brooch. It looks like it could be vintage. That's a pretty little piece. Looks like mother of pearl. Okay, as soon as the lady moves, I'll help you, Archie. That might be Jade. Dropping that off at number 11. Definitely want to have a look at that cute little pumpkin brooch. Just having a look through the books. I think they're half price. Whatever's orange tag is half price, so these would be a dollar. I don't know if I have this one or not. I don't think so. It's a nice hardcover. Grab that out. And I see another one here. This one. It's definitely probably.
probably 1970s or 80s. Ellen Fleet. I think that would be 50 cents. house plant books and bird books, cookbooks. Oh, look at that. Royal Copley. Oh, that, that's a good find. Maybe a dollar for that one. I never find reference books. Oh, look at that one. Looking at paintings, flowers. Watch yourself the glass because they're going to go over it at one sec. Oh, yeah. You're hooked. I will deliver that one to you. Thank you very much. I might have seen that one. I have this print, quite a large one. How much is that? Two dollars, maybe? That's a good art book. I like art books as well. Georgia O'Keeffe. That name is familiar. Maybe a dollar for that book. It's pretty big, though. Visual journaling. Cross stitch. The Louver. American scene, early 20th century. Lamp light collection of modern art. but I don't imagine it would be more than a dollar or two. I think I'm going to leave that one. Art Nouveau. Ooh. That's a heavy, thick book. Lots of great pictures in it. I love Art Nouveau. Two belt. That would be a dollar. A dollar for this book. It's so big and heavy. Way. Oh, wow, got some nice art books. My total was $46, and 25 of that was the vase, and that was a really great score first thing in the door, so pretty happy about that. I did pay up for it, but that's okay. I'm willing to pay $25 for a swung vase. So that is everything for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.